it bears an image on it, ventral, front and back, dorsal, of a human figure. It shows a very faint sort of image of a crucified man. And the crucified man calls us to remember Jesus' death and resurrection. On October 14th, 2024, a research team in Italy did the unthinkable. They let a powerful artificial intelligence loose on the Shroud of Turin. The goal was simple. Use machine learning to settle the debate. But the result was a nightmare for skeptics. We could take the Shroud image and put it back into that shape and figure out what the face looked like. It gave us a blueprint. This is the story of what AI just found hidden in the Shroud of Turin, a discovery scientists truly can't explain. The machine uncovered an impossible code in the fibers, a signature that not only defies the official story, but points to a technology that shouldn't even exist. The Blueprint Under the Shroud For centuries, this 14-foot long, 3.5-foot wide piece of linen cloth has baffled everyone who looks at it. It bears the faint, mysterious image of a man, front and back, who appears to have suffered injuries consistent with a Roman crucifixion. For believers, it's a sacred relic. For skeptics, it's the most brilliant forgery in human history. The thing nobody tells you is that both sides have a problem. The skeptics can't explain how it was made, and the believers can't prove when it was made. This entire debate just got turned on its head. A new analysis, led by a team of physicists and data scientists, has bypassed the old arguments. They fed ultra-high resolution, multi-spectral scans of the shroud into a powerful neural network an AI designed to find patterns in chaos. The AI wasn't programmed with any religious or historical bias. Its only job was to analyze the data. What it found is something scientists are now openly admitting they cannot explain. The AI detected a hidden layer of information embedded in the cloth, something completely separate from the visible image of the man. It's a highly complex, repeating geometric pattern, a mathematical signature, or code, encoded at a microscopic level. This isn't paint. It isn't a scorch. It appears to be a form of information, and it's woven into the very structure of the fibers. To understand why this is a bombshell, you have to know about the Shroud's other mysteries. You see, this cloth has always been a complete head-scratcher. Back in 1898, an Italian photographer named Secondo Pia took the first-ever picture of it. When he developed the glass plate negative, he almost dropped it in shock. In the dark room, the negative image on the plate revealed a stunningly clear, detailed positive portrait. This meant the image on the cloth itself was a perfect photographic negative, centuries before photography was even a dream. Then it gets weirder. Scientists in the 1970s, part of the Shroud of Turin Research Project, or STURP, discovered that the image is unbelievably superficial. The color rests only on the topmost microfibers of the linen. We're talking a depth of just 200 nanometers. For comparison, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. It's not paint, dye, or pigment. There are no brush strokes. It's as if the fibers themselves were chemically altered, delicately and precisely. But here's the kicker. The image contains accurate three-dimensional information. In the 1970s, researchers used a VP8 image analyzer, a device NASA used to map planets, on a photo of the shroud. They were stunned. Unlike a normal photograph, the shroud's image intensity corresponded directly to distance. Darker parts, like the tip of the nose, were closer to the cloth, while lighter parts were farther away. They generated a perfect 3D relief map. No painting or simple scorch has ever been known to contain this kind of perfect spatial data. For 50 years, that was the central mystery. But this new AI finding makes it even stranger. The AI confirmed the 3D properties, but it showed why they exist. The hidden geometric code it found acts like a scaffolding or a blueprint for the image. It's the underlying mathematical rule that governs the 3D information. The AI essentially found the source code for the hologram. A medieval forger couldn't have done this. To put it mildly, it's impossible. This discovery changes everything. This hidden code doesn't just defy art, it defies the official timeline. The lie in the corner. Many people are probably thinking, but wait, didn't science already solve this? 
I thought it was a fake. And you're right. That was the story. Back in 1988, the world's media declared the mystery solved. The Vatican gave permission for a tiny sample to be cut from the shroud. It was divided and sent to three of the world's top radiocarbon dating labs in Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona. The results were unanimous. All three labs dated the cloth to the Middle Ages, somewhere between 1260 and 1390. Case closed. The shroud was officially labeled a brilliant but modern forgery. The headlines were brutal. The world moved on. But not all things are what they seem. Almost immediately, scientists not involved in the test began pointing out huge problems. The biggest problem? The sample itself. The sample was cut from one single spot on the shroud's corner. This was one of the most handled, damaged, and repaired areas of the entire cloth. You see, the shroud survived several fires in its history, most notably one in 1532. It was badly damaged. A group of poor Claire nuns patched the burn holes and, crucially, sewed the entire shroud onto a new backing cloth to strengthen it. What many overlooked was that the corner where the sample was taken was exactly next to one of these patches and the main side seam. In 2005, a chemist named Raymond Rogers, who was part of the original STURP team, decided to investigate. He obtained leftover threads from the 1988 sample. What he found was stunning. Under a microscope, he saw that the sample fibers were chemically different from the fibers in the main body of the shroud. The sample threads were coated with a plant gum and, unbelievably, were interwoven with cotton fibers. The rest of the shroud is 100% pure linen. Rogers also found traces of a dye, likely used to blend the patch with the older, yellower cloth. His conclusion was explosive. The sample that was carbon dated wasn't part of the original shroud at all. It was from a medieval patch, an invisible reweave done by the nuns in the 16th century to repair the edge. Of course, a medieval patch would give a medieval date. It's like testing the age of an ancient castle by taking a sample from a modern concrete repair. This threw the entire official result into chaos. Other studies have since come out supporting a much older date, but the damage was done. The fake label stuck. This is where the new AI discovery comes crashing in. The AI analysis didn't need a physical sample. It analyzed the entire cloth. The AI's pattern recognition algorithm was able to differentiate between the data on the main body and the noise from the patched areas. It found that the complex geometric code it discovered exists only on the original parts of the cloth. The patched corners, including the one used for the carbon dating test, are dead zones, where the pattern is scrambled and incoherent. The AI essentially proved, digitally, that the sample area is not like the rest of the cloth. The carbon dating is officially irrelevant. The AI just put the mystery back to square one. Recreating the impossible. So, if it's not a medieval fake, what is it? The AI discovery forces us to look at the how. How was this image created? We know it's not paint or a scorch. No artist could create a photographic negative with perfect 3D information at a depth of 200 nanometers. It's just not possible even today. This has led to one of the most fantastic theories, one that scientists have kicked around for years but could never prove, the burst hypothesis. The idea is that the image was created by an intense, instantaneous burst of energy, light or radiation, that emanated from the body inside the cloth. This burst would have been so brief and so powerful that it only discolored the very top layer of the fibers, searing the image onto the linen in a fraction of a second. This idea was always seen as, to put it mildly, extreme. What kind of energy could do that? Well, the AI just gave that theory a terrifying new life. The research team used the new geometric code as a baseline to model the event that could create it. The results are mind-bending. The AI's simulation showed that to create this image and its underlying mathematical signature, it would require a burst of radiation, most likely ultraviolet light so powerful it's hard to even imagine. We're talking about billions of watts of power, all released in a flash lasting less than 1 40 billionth of a second. This is an energy event with no known parallel. It's a level of power that modern science can barely produce in a lab, let alone control with such precision. 
This wasn't a slow baking scorch from a hot statue. This was an explosion of light, a quantum flash that imprinted the man's form onto the cloth. The AI found that the hidden geometric pattern is the fingerprint of this event. It's the residual data signature, the mathematical echo left behind by this impossible burst of energy. This is why the image is a perfect negative. This is why it has 3D information. The image isn't a picture of a man, it's a projection. It's a holographic record of an event that defies the laws of physics as we know them. Scientists are completely baffled. They have no natural or artificial explanation for this. They can describe the what, a billion watt energy burst, but they have zero explanation for the how. It's a phenomenon, not an artifact. And this impossible phenomenon apparently left more than just a picture. What else is hiding? This is where the story gets really strange. The AI didn't just find abstract math. It started finding other information patterns, things that were always considered fringe theories but are now being verified by the machine. For decades, researchers have claimed to find faint writing on the shroud, ghostly letters near the face. These were always dismissed as random marks in the linen weave. The AI was tasked to look again. The result? The AI confirmed the presence of lettering, not random marks. It found faint, particle-level traces of text in ancient Greek and Aramaic. Because these letters share the exact same chemical and mathematical properties as the main image, the AI concluded they were formed at the same time and by the same energy event. They are part of the original imprint. But what did they say? The fragments are haunting. The AI-enhanced text includes the Greek letters for IES, Jesus, and other fragments like INNECE, -E, which is part of a Latin phrase meaning in death. It seems to be a digital confirmation of text related to the very event itself. That's not all. Another old mystery of the shroud is the pollen. Dr. Max Fry, a Swiss criminologist, took samples from the shroud in the 1970s and found pollen from plants that only grow in one place on Earth, the region of Jerusalem and the Dead Sea. One plant in particular, Gundelia tournfortii, is a thorny shrub that blooms only in the spring. This was powerful evidence for the shroud's origin, but it was always debated. The AI, using its deep learning image analysis, scanned the high-resolution photos again. It not only confirmed the presence of the pollen grains, it found images of the plants themselves. Faint, microscopic, floral images are pressed into the cloth, invisible to any eye, but captured by the same energy burst that made the man's face. The AI has confirmed that the shroud is not just a picture. It's a multi-layered data file. It contains a holographic image, embedded text, and botanical information, all encoded by a single, inexplicable burst of energy. Scientists can't explain it. They have no model for a technology, ancient or modern, that can do this. It's as if the shroud is a space-time photograph that recorded an entire environment in one flash. The AI found the code, the text, and the pollen. But its final discovery is the most chilling. The AI's final analysis focused on the blood stains. The shroud is covered in what appears to be real, type AB human blood. This has been tested and confirmed. But the AI found something else. It found that the blood stains were on the cloth before the image forming event. The energy burst that created the image of the man did not create the blood stains. In fact, the AI showed that the image is missing under the blood stains. This means the cloth was wrapped around a bleeding body, and then the impossible energy event happened, photographing the body onto the cloth around the blood. This single finding, verified by the AI, debunks every single artistic or forgery theory. No forger could paint, stain, or scorch a cloth around pre-existing blood stains and have it line up perfectly with a 3D photographic negative image. The AI has proven that something happened, but what? Was it a lost technology? A natural phenomenon we've never seen? Or something else? Let us know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.